Use any ATM of your convenience and stand a chance to win gold sovereigns. Lanka Pay. On the 21st of this month, Pivitur Hello Rumay leader Uday Gammampilla revealed the report of the committee chaired by retired High Court Judge ANJD Alvis regarding the 2019 Easter Sunday terror attacks. Meanwhile, today, Gamam Pillar convened a media briefing to reveal the report of the committee chaired by retired Supreme Court Justice S.I. Imam, which was appointed to investigate the claims made in the Channel 4 documentary regarding the Easter attacks. Dedas Visitune September Mase Paswinida, Channel 4 Nalikawe, Vikashine Wu, Sri Lanka Easter Bominski and Vedasatane. On the 5th of September 2023, Channel 4 aired a program titled Sri Lanka's Easter Bombings. The allegation made in this program is that in order to make a Buddhist leader president, a group of Muslim youths executed a series of suicide bombings at Catholic churches. They further claim that the attacks were perpetrated by Sri Lankan military intelligence with the intention of bringing Gotabe Rajapaksha into power. In order to investigate the validity of these claims, a committee was appointed under the chairmanship of retired Supreme Court Justice S.I. Imam. Neither the Cardinal, the National People's Power, nor any other party raised objections regarding this committee. It is the report of this committee that we are publicizing today. In the Channel 4 documentary, an individual named Azad Maulana made several accusations against Sri Lankan intelligence intelligence services. The main accusation was that in February 2018, the then head of the military intelligence, Suresh Shale, met with a group of individuals including Mohammed Zahra and Hashim at a house located on a coconut plantation in Vanathavilua and planned the Easter attacks. However, the committee during its investigations uncovered evidence to the contrary. In 2019, when explosives were discovered on the plot of land in question, two suspects were arrested. One of them was Hanif Mufis. Upon questioning Mufis, revealed that the house located on the plot of land was constructed between August and September 2018. This means that there was no house on the land when Suresh Saleh allegedly met with the group, including Zahra and Hashim, which proves that Azad Maulana's statement was false. Additionally, from November 2016 until December 2018, Suresh Saleh was attached to the Sri Lankan High Commission in Malaysia. Within that period, he only came to Sri Lanka in November 2017. Further, the police officers who provided evidence before the commission confirmed that throughout the entirety of February 2018, the group, including Zahra, only resided within the Batiklo and Ampara districts. Data from the cellular network towers also confirmed that they had not left the eastern province within that period. Therefore, the committee's conclusion was that Azad Maulana made false allegations against Sri Lanka in the Channel 4 documentary with the intention of obtaining asylum in Switzerland. After the program was aired, the Ministry of Defence denied all allegations made in it. Suresh Saleh threatened legal actions if the accusations were not withdrawn and Channel 4 removed the program from the internet. An individual that claims to be a retired high-ranking police official appears on the program. This individual's face has been obscured and their voice altered. Those who watched the documentary believe this individual to be a certain prominent official of the Criminal Investigation Department. The current government has appointed this official to one of the country's highest officers. The government's responsibility is to uncover the identity of this official who aided Channel 4 in making these unfounded allegations. If this individual is currently holding an important office, they must be stripped of it and punished. We challenge the government to appoint a committee of investigation to uncover the identity of these retired officials. <laughs> This individual's identity has not been confirmed. There is only conjecture. The report does not contain any mention of their name. If it did, I would reveal it. There is conjecture among politicians, government officials and society regarding the identity of its official based on their voice and what they revealed in the program. However, because it is only a conjecture, my revealing their name would be unfair to this individual.